Γεια σα. This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. In Greece last Friday, the Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou pledged to build a long delayed mosque in Athens for Muslim residents, noting that failure to provide such a facility for over two decades is a disgrace. Papandreou added that a temporary official facility for Muslim services will be provided until the completion of a proper mosque, which he said his father had first promised when he was Prime Minister 25 years ago. He addressed Parliament saying, it is a disgrace that for 25 years, maybe more, since Andreas Papadreou promised the creation of a mosque in the greater Athens area, we have been unable to create such a building, but now there is wide consent on the project. IMF Managing Director recently visited Greece and held a meeting with the Greek Prime Minister and the government officials. In an interview with Greek newspaper Kathimerini, he said that the program for the consolidation of the Greek economy is at a crucial crossroad, as a series of fundamental structural changes have to be implemented in the following few months. He estimated that if Greece can maintain the momentum of reform, investors' confidence will grow and through the gradual return of competitiveness, growth will follow. Mr. Strauss-Kahn noted the need for consensus among the political parties and in that context he opened a window for limited adjustments, saying that ideas for policy changes should, first and foremost, be discussed with the government. In the spirit of political consensus, he said that playing the blame game is not helpful and calls upon the political parties to look forward instead of backwards. And now, some news from the USA. Ex-Congresswoman and member of the Democratic Party, Dina Titus, was nominated by Harry Reid to the United States Commission on Civil Rights. Senator Reid stated that Titus has always been a strong supporter and defender of civil rights. The quick member of the Democratic Party accepted the nomination and said that she is proud of it and looks forward to taking up her duties. The Commission on Civil Rights is composed of eight commissioners. Four are nominated by the President of the United States, two by the President pro tempore of the Senate, and two by the Speaker of the House of Representatives. In other news, a unique marble sculpture discovered in the Kiklades has been sold for nearly $17 million at Christie's, an auction house in New York. The 4,400-year-old sculpture is the only one of 12 known sculptures attributed to an ancient Greek artist that has survived antiquity in perfect condition. The fact that it is the only figure to remain intact over the centuries is the main reason for its extraordinary price. The 30cm figure is carved from white marble and Christie said the Cycladic marble reclining female figure is the first of its kind to be offered at auction. Moving on to Hollywood. Netflix and Disney ABC television group announced a new licensing agreement between the two companies. It will allow Netflix to stream hundreds of episodes from the ABC television network, Disney Channel and for the first time ABC Family over the internet. The man behind this $200 million agreement is Greek-American Ted Sarandos. Sarandos has directed content acquisition for Netflix since 2000. With more than 20 years' experience in home entertainment, Ted is recognized in the industry as an innovator in film acquisition and distribution. Some more interesting news from Hollywood. For the first time in history, the Sundance Film Festival will be hosting a Greek film in its program. Athena Tsangaris Attenberg will be showcased at the spotlight section of the upcoming festival. The festival will be held from the 20th until the 30th of January 2011. Currently, Athena Rachel Tsangaris Attenberg is making its way back home, preparing for its Greek debut at the upcoming 51st Thessaloniki International Film Festival. In Canada, the Waterloo Institute for Hellenistic Studies, which includes University of Waterloo and international researchers, was officially unveiled at a celebration on Thursday, December 9, 2010 at the Canadian Clay and Glass Gallery in Uptown Waterloo. This is the only institute in North America to conduct interdisciplinary research focusing on the Hellenistic Age, a period when Greek culture and influence spread from Spain in the West to India in the East. On to Europe now. On December 16th, Jose Carreras will greet Greece's very own Vicky Leandros and together they will do a duet on a German television show. As she does every year, Vicky will guest star with a tenor singer as the two artists have a long-time friendship. The proceeds of the evening will go towards children struggling with leukemia. 
And now some news from Antarctica. A Greek cruise ship with 88 American passengers and 77 crew members aboard sustained damage after being battered by brutal waves last week. The Greek ship Klegia 2 declared an emergency, reporting it had suffered engine damage amid heavy seas and 55 miles per hour winds. The ship was northeast of the South Shetland Islands on its way to Argentina. Luckily, the crew of the 2,420 ton ship overcame the damage and headed to its scheduled port. For more news and updates, visit GreekReporter.com. And remember, Greeks are everywhere.